And uh, as far as the riffs go, I mean, it's not, a, yeah, I don't sit down and just, you know, choose, oh, that's for Heathen, that's for Exodus. It's like you kind of like just feel it, you know, that would fit better with Exodus, you know. And then Gary would hear a riff and, you know, start begging me and, you know, bribe me for, you know, to use that in Exodus. <laughs> No, but, uh, you know, just it, it, when it feels right, I mean, there's certain riffs, I mean, are just more for heathen, certain riffs are more for Exodus. And sometimes you can use, you know, there's a riff that you could use in either band and, it, you know, it would work. You know. Um, let's see. What, else we got? what was the first song you learned to play? Uh... It was either smoke on the water or breaking the law. I mean, I don't know. I was kind of trying to learn both at the same time, I think. Uh, whichever would come easier. Um, that's, I already answered that one. Um, when you make up riffs, uh, same question. Yeah, he says, uh, thank you for letting me get on stage in L.A. Um, I wanted to ask you, how did you learn to play neoclassical guitar? I didn't realize it was neo neoclassical. I just play whatever, you know. I mean, if I like a lick from somebody, I'll just steal it and learn it and put it and make it my own, you know. Um, Let's see, I mean, I'll go on here now. Uh, let's see, what are the questions? Are you guys filming the pro the recording process? Yeah, I mean, Rob's been, you know, filming it from, you know, like just bits and pieces here and there, but he's going to make a DVD probably out of it. Uh, good job on the solo. Thanks. Thanks, Shred. <laughs> um, uh, Lee says in Russian, Zdrastui Tiribata. <laughs> that means hello, friends. <laughs> um, what type of ESPs do you use? Um, I, you know, live I use the King V's, but uh, in the studio, as you saw, I mean, I, I like playing those, uh, eclipses, you know, they feel better from, to play solos, you know. Are you still in touch with Ira Black? Uh, no, not in a while. I mean, um, uh, I haven't seen him in years. I mean, I heard he moved, like, to Ohio or something, um. But no, I'm not in touch with him. I, I mean, I still have his number, but I think he's disconnected or something. Uh, what picks and string gauges do you use? Uh, I think we use like 10 to 52. And picks, uh, I don't know, like, what, uh, what kind of picks do we use? They're the same as the green tortoise. Yeah, it's the same as the green tortoise. They're just like a black. 77. A 77. Uh, if you could cover one song, what it what would it be? Scorpions. Uh, we already did, <laughs> but it's gonna be a surprise. Uh, what do you think of the last show in Quebec City? I was there and it was an awesome show. Yeah, well, I mean it was an awesome show. Yeah, I mean we had a great time there. Um, what guitars do you think is better to play thrash? Um, it's not about guitars. It's about you know you playing. I mean so. Um, do you think you would be making albums with Bailoff now if he was alive? Well, uh, who knows? I mean, maybe. You know, uh, Lee, what's your secret to staying fit? Um, <laughs> I eat a lot. I mean, who said I'm fit? Um, let's see, are you planning on doing any shows in the Bay Area? Uh, we're playing in the Bay Area with uh, Arch Enemy in February. 
What do you think about Creator? I uh, love Creator. I mean, they're great guys. Yeah. You know, I mean, would tour with them anytime. What is the tuning of the new album? Uh, Detuning. Uh, who's better, guitarist, you or Gary? I already said you. <laughs> uh, actually, it's Rob. Um, any heathen concerts in Poland? Mm, not to my knowledge, but I don't know. Uh, let's see. <laughs> I found and played the first murder demo with Jim and Carl. Wow, that's going way back. Uh, is that with Sam on vocals too? Uh, <laughs> there's some funny stuff on here. When is tour in Spain? Uh, probably next year. I mean, I would, I suppose. You know, when we come over to Europe and do a tour. Uh, what do you think about Chilean metal scene? Uh, it's awesome. I mean, it's pretty crazy. You, you guys are nuts. Yeah, and that's the way metal's supposed to be. Uh, cold question. Star Trek or Star Wars? Uh, I'm, you know, I'm the one who's not neither one, you know, I'm Just not, a, I'm Star not Wars into, yeah, uh, uh, Rob Star says Star Wars, so I'll go with him, but I'm not into, you know, it's more Jack and, and Rob are more into it. Any heathen shows in Orange County? Uh, not at the moment, not, you know, I mean, maybe at some point. <coughs> What do you want for Christmas? Um, <laughs> a gold album? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Come to play Hawaii. Uh, I would love to. I mean, it's nice and warm there. I mean, it's been really cold and rainy here, so yeah. Um, yeah, you want to sing for heathen. <laughs> okay. I, I didn't realize we were auditioning singers. Um, is heathen going to play Tidal Wave this year? Uh, not to my knowledge. Maybe. I mean, I don't know. What do you think of uh, about Evile? I uh, love the guys and the band. Yeah. Uh, Will you guys plan any new song on an upcoming tour with Arch Enemy? Um, we're you know we're talking about it. Maybe maybe do one. You know, I mean usually I mean the problem with new songs is like all the people are un unfamiliar with it and you know and they kind of just stand around checking it out. So you're not sure it's like well they liked it or not. You know and they're just waiting for you know the songs that they they're familiar with. Any tour plans after the album is released? Well, definitely. I mean, that's that's what you do, you know. Um, you know, you release an album, you go on tour to support the album. How different will the three songs from the 2005 demo from the new version of the... Uh, from the new versions? Uh, pretty much the same. Um, I think one of them, I mean, I added a part, but they're basically the same. You know, just, I think, better recorded. How about old school show with Exodus Heathen and Enveril Chorus? No, yeah, okay, that sounds good. I mean, uh, playing two sets, you know, I might have to go to the hospital afterwards, but yeah, sure. Sounds good. I mean, I know Enveril Chorus just released an album, so can't wait to hear it. I haven't heard it yet. I talked to Thane a lot. Uh, that one, the twin, the twin lead was sick. Oh, thank you. Uh, you need to play right in California. Oh, we'd like to play anywhere and everywhere. I mean, you know, it's up to the promoter, local promoters and booking agents. They work it out, and, you know, they book us and, and we show up, you know. And uh, what age you start playing guitar? I, mean, I was like 16, 17, I think. How heavy is too heavy? Well, uh, 
If so, why? Uh, one it just stops being music, you know, I think that's too heavy. <laughs> Are there any gang vocals on the album? Uh, some. What do you think about uh, the Big Four Thrash Tour? Well, like I said before, I think they're missing a band, you know. Guess who?